Hello YouTube, um, today we're going to be covering, um, get line and strings. This is your fourth, yeah, fourth Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 Express Edition tutorial. So go ahead and make a new project, um, Win32 console application, name it get line, whatever, it doesn't matter, just name it get line. Because that's going to be our main thing. To project, finish. Okay, so go ahead, make a new source file, name it get line, whatever. I just can't even see that. <laughs> Alright, so once you made your project, let me just skip through this. I'll just skip in. All right. All right. Um, I just skipped through this so you didn't have to watch. But once you have in your clues, you're gonna want another. You're gonna want to add another clue called pound include string because we're gonna be using strings today. Um, if you don't know what a string is, a string is like, um, just a chain of like letters and numbers, and then it's basically yeah, it's just it's just a uh, letters and numbers. So I'm gonna show you how to use get line and all that. This might be a long tutorial. All right. So once you do your int main, let's declare a string called um, what is your name? No, like name, username. So user name. Oh no, username. You gotta put string. String username. Oh. Alright, sorry about that. My recorder shut off. So instead of that capital, we're just going to have string, username. Um, now, um, let's see out what is your name. Then the person, this is a new one, I think, yeah. Seeing is what the person who's using it is going to type into it. So you're going to see in, and then you're going to do those dashes, but in the other way. So you're going to see in user name. Okay, yeah. So they're going to see in user name, and then we're going to do get. Oh, no, let's do, um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to see in username, so see out, um, hello, and then space, and another that, and then a uh, quotation mark, and then these lines again, and then user name, and then these, and then end the line. So basically, we declared a string called username. We see out it what is your name, and then the person who's going to type in is their is their username, which is their name, and then it's going to see out hello, and then whatever they typed in. So let's go ahead and make our getch, our sort getch. All right. So you, you type in what is your name. So let's just type in Alex. And it'll say hello Alex. But if you notice when you do this is annoying, one sec. Just put a space there so it's not so annoying. Okay. So what is your name? When I type in um when I type in two words it'll say the first word. It'll only come back with the first word. So if I put like Alex blah blah blah. I don't want to put my last name. So when you go Alex blah 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 it'll just say hello Alex. So what we're gonna do it was gonna we're gonna erase this and we're gonna put in our get line. Our get line enables us to put in whatever we want. So we're gonna put in get line and then um, a uh, 
a parentheses, and then we're going to sin, which is what we type in, and then a comma, and then user name. And then we're going to do sin dot clear, and then these parentheses things. It's just like a clear device that just makes it run whatever. I just learned this. So get line sin username, and then sin dot clear, and then these. So then when we um, run it, what is your name? And we type in Alex blah blah blah. It'll say hello Alex blah blah blah. So if we didn't have this get line here, and we just had this c the cn username, then it would just do the first word. So we use get line so that it can use the whole string that we declared, which is username. Um, get line is another key thing that you may use a lot in later. Um, uh, C++ projects that you do. So this is pretty cool thing. Um, so mess with this, play around, get to know it, and then come back to the next tutorial. Thank you.